Welcome to the next episode of the Dark Web Deacon. Before we begin, be sure to smash that subscribe button, click the bell to turn on notifications, and check out the latest items in the Dark Web Deacon merch store. There is a link in the video description below, and become a true Dark Web enthusiast. New videos are published every Monday and Thursday. You might be a spy for a foreign power and not even know it. I'm talking about Pegasus spyware, which can infect your device via a zero-click attack, which means exactly what it says. You do not need to click on a link to initiate the infection. So all your anti-malware software and precautions and best practices you follow from IT professionals is as useless as a drunk Jar Jar Binks. My cattle, rabbit. Pegasus is one of the most powerful pieces of spyware ever designed. It can infiltrate Android and iOS smartphones alike. Pegasus is an Israeli spyware, which can easily infect a mobile phone or a device without the notice of its user. It was developed by the cyber arms firm of Israel, NSO. Later, NSO sold the software to government clients. More recent revelations about several governments bringing it into use have made headlines. This isn't the first time you may have heard about Pegasus. First instances of its use showed up in 2016. In 2019, there was an incident where Pegasus was infecting phones through WhatsApp. However, this issue garnered a lot more importance this time as journalists, activists, and politicians were also affected with the spyware. The Pegasus spyware was meant to be used against criminals, but leaked records in July 2021 show that heads of state, including French President Emmanuel Macron, journalists, human rights activists, and political opponents were also targeted for hacking by clients of the spy technology. The report and analysis of Pegasus show is able to infect your device via a zero-click attack, which is as scary as it sounds does not require your interaction to infect your device. Even more unsettling is that the spyware does not run mindlessly. It has a remote command and control capability, so a hacker on the other side of the world can issue commands to surgically grab as much or as little data as they desire. In spite of being a zero-click attack, it still needs an entry point into your phone. So how does it do this? This can be achieved via a missed call, a WhatsApp call, SMS or iMessage texts, or an unknown vulnerability on your phone, and once installed, it can harvest text messages, photos, videos, contact lists, calendar information, and even enable the microphone or camera without your knowledge. It is not a question of if, but when. This Pegasus technology will be stolen, leaked, or replicated via a similar zero-click attack vector and will become available to the broader dark web community. It will be a game changer and result in millions of consumers and citizens, especially VIPs, becoming spies or victims of foreign powers and organized crime without their knowledge or even realizing it. As I've mentioned before, it is extremely hard to detect if your device has been infected by Pegasus. Possible signs of a Pegasus-infected device include the device's anti-spyware program not working properly, the activation of a camera or microphone without your explicit action, the connection of a malicious network found on the device, or the browser's homepage appearing changed without notice. There is a thin line that is being ignored more and more even across Western-based civilizations between what one deems as surveillance for security reasons and spying. Who decides what is legal and permissible and what violates a citizen's privacy? I've mentioned the famous quote from Benjamin Franklin before, but here it is again. Those who would give up essential liberty to purchase a little temporary safety deserve neither liberty nor safety. Citizens in countries where this software has been used need to stand up and demand accountability from their elected leaders. And citizens in other Western countries need to put down the beer, wine, vodka, or whatever alcohol of choice they use 
and demand this not be used against its citizens without extensive transparency if it is ever used at all. Thanks for watching, and as always, please like, subscribe, and provide comments, and turn on notifications by clicking the bell in order to check out future videos published twice a week.